Hi, everybody. So today is Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And we are starting my sixth year of Muppet May, where we look at a Muppets related film or TV special every single week for the entire month. And since this is the sixth year doing it, I've covered all of the well-known properties. So we're getting into some more obscure ones this month, which I'm actually really excited about. And I think it's fun. So Hopefully you'll enjoy it too and get to discover some maybe films that you didn't know about or that you can watch for the first time. So this week we are talking about a special uh, that aired in 1989 called The Song of the Cloud Forest. And this was part of the Jim Henson Hour, but it was distributed on its own. You can still get it on a DVD with, I think it's called The Song of the Cloud Forest and Other Earth Tales. And this is unique, I think, for, for Muppets in a lot of ways. Uh, the most important thing is that they really do create an entire forest of puppets. Aside from the Dark Crystal, it has some of the most intricate and uh, beautiful puppets that I've seen in a Muppets project. Uh, they really do create an entire jungle, an entire rainforest uh, for you to enjoy. And uh, it also has a poignant, very sweet message that I think would make for a great family home evening if you were having with your kids and wanted to talk about climate change and the environment. And compared to in the 90s, you had all of those uh, environmental uh, fables uh, that were really heavy handed. And this is more just honest and sweet. I don't think it's that heavy handed. Uh, and it tells the story of a golden toad uh, in Costa Rica named Milton. And Milton is, he thinks he might be the last uh, golden toad. And he's very sad about it. There's these uprights that are taking the forest away. And of course, those are humans. And uh, they end up capturing a, a girl, a female golden toad that's pink. The, the uprights are the scientists, and they think that if they are able to capture Milton, they'll be able to uh, help him mate with this female golden toad, and uh, they'll be able to help save the toad. And so they have the best of intentions. That's why... I, I think it has a nuance that a lot of times you don't see in these fables. It's not just like man, evil, uh, nature, good. Uh, and uh, in the end, they decide to release the female and let nature take its its course. And what's kind of interesting and maybe sad about this is that the golden toad was extinct uh, before this was actually released as a special and uh, it it's interesting because it wasn't because of humans. You could say it's because of global warming, but it was actually because of a fungus that killed them off. Uh, so it wasn't actually like depopulation in particular. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't actually deforest deforestation in particular. It was this fungus that killed them off. Uh, so nature did kind of take its course, but not in the way of saving, in the way of taking. As we know from the Lion King, that's part of the circle of life, right? <laughs> um, but I loved all of the puppetry in this special. Uh, Milton's a very, very cute character. And then there's uh, Wilf and then Art Art and Blanche, which are some more creatures. And then my favorite was Qu Quetzal, which is like a parrot. Uh, I loved the way they did the feathers. And it just was a very intricate puppet for the Muppets. Uh, very well done. And uh, they have three songs, The Music of the Forest, Munching Forest, and the, the best one that, that Milton sings as he's trying to figure out what to do and he's feeling very alone is There Was a Time. <laughs> This is just a lovely uh, little environmental special that you could watch with your family, with your kids, and talk about how we can protect nature and be better stewards of our environment. 
and, uh, you know, things like not litter and, and, uh, and, uh, take care of animals in our lives and all these lessons. And I just think it's, it's, it's not too heavy handed. It's, uh, it's got a, it's got beautiful puppetry, uh, good songs and would be a great, uh, part of a family home evening, uh, that you could watch together. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, I didn't know what to expect for this, but it was a lot better than I expected. (laughs) Uh, So let me know if you've seen this. I would love to hear your thoughts and please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it. And, uh, And check out the Patreon group and merch store. That's the biggest way you can help me. And thanks so much, everybody. Happy Muppet May. Bye.